Martin Halstead, Senior Distinguished Technologist, Telco Vertical Communications Technology Group at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, is going to demonstrate how enterprise is innovating with HPE GreenLake for Telco Cloud. Martin, lots of telcos know that they have to virtualize their networks, but they've got challenges when they have to move everything to cloud. How does HPE address that? Yeah, so the thing that we've looked at is that, you know, if you look at telecoms networks as they are today, they are extremely heterogeneous. They consist of a bunch of very inter, um, completely unrelated networks. You've got the IP MPLS based transport networks. You have the networking within the data centers using a different protocol set. You've got networking up to the containers where the actual network functions are operating. So telecoms networks as they stand today are not necessarily telco clouds. So what we have looked at as HPE um, is the idea that the state of the art for operating networks today is you have some sort of centralized service management and that then orchestrates services across a bunch of domain managers. So examples of domain managers are like the transport orchestration domain, 5G core data centers, etc. And you turn up a service essentially by stitching together those different domains, right? So you have these unrelated protocols multi-vendor heterogeneous environments and to create services you end up then stitching the um, you know the transport networks to the top rack switches um, to the network functions etc it's extremely complicated a lot of those processes are manual um, you have vendor specific apis that you need to talk to it's not exactly a telecoms cloud so so what we've looked at then uh, from an HPE perspective is, well, the telecoms operators can't go and rip and replace those existing networks. If you want to build a cloud, you can't do that by saying, oh, well, I've got to throw away my transport networks or my, um, you know, my data center networks or um, you know, the infrastructure that I have. I need to be able to essentially leave that per domain orchestration in place but then separate off the service orchestration from that, where I actually want to create the services in the first place. And so the way that you build a telco cloud from an HPE perspective is that if you have orchestration that can look after the life cycle of the network functions, right? The, you know, the, the communications functions that are going to make up that service, but crucially as well, um, have the user plane that connects up those network functions programmable, um, have the same user plane and make sure that your one orchestration system can manage the life cycle of the network functions as well as the user plane between them, all of a sudden you can abstract away all of that complexity and leave the existing networks in place. And so this is the technology that we've built um, and what we are going to market as, as a solution called HPE GreenLake for telco cloud automation. So um, in order for us to build these telco clouds, there's four sets of technologies that we've combined. We've basically taken um, some technology through a partner, um, a networking partner called Arcus, uh, which is called uh, SRV6 Mobile User Plane. SLV6 or segment routing with IPv6 is a technology set that um, relies on IPv6 but has additional headers that allows you to programmatically set up user plane paths. So it's ideal as a technology to run over the top of existing networks. As long as those existing networks can forward IPv6 packets, which of course all of them can, it'll interwork what, what the telcos already have. And then the actual programmability is only within the data centers themselves, but that's where the network functions are. So, um, so SLV6 mobile user plane translates all IPv6, IPv4, as well as you know, GTP or the overlay protocol from the radio access network, translates that to SLV6. So now you have this very programmable, um, easy to manipulate um, forwarding plane for um, setting up the communications between the network functions. Once I have converted my traffic to SRV6, I then need to push that up to the containers, right? Um, so I need to run SRV6 all the way up to the container. If I can do that, then I can run the entire user plane virtually on HPE compute. So we partnered with another company called iSurveillant that own a Celium 
what's called a CNI or a container networking interface. That supports a SRV6 user plane. So the Arcus control plane talks to um, both the mobile user plane as well as the Celium uh, user plane for setting the traffic pass up to the containers. And you need, of course, then to orchestrate that user plane as well as the network functions. So we have HPE's own um, orchestration solution, which will, at the same time, program the, um, the life cycle of the network functions as well as the user plane through one orchestration system. And of course, all of this runs on our um, telco cloud-ready infrastructure. So in order to show um, you know, from a demo perspective then how all of these technologies work together, what we've built then is a simulated environment. So we have two edge data centers um, with um, Arcus, which is um, a ArcOS, a networking stack which is running uh, within HP, virtualized on HPE servers. Um, that's connected into the radio access network. Um, and it also interacts with the 5G core so that we can translate um, forwarding path information uh, coming from the 5G core into segment routed user plane paths um, across the telco cloud as it is now. Um, we have another data center as well with a similar technology. Uh, and then iSurveillance uh, Celium is embedded within um, worker nodes uh, within the data center as well. We've also, um, as an example, network function that we're going to turn up as part of the service, um, we've partnered with Fortinet for their intrusion uh, prevention uh, solution set. So, um, so what we then built is the idea that you know, a telecoms operator, if they could turn up, a, you know, a cloud service should be dynamic, right? So um, how about then if you have a stadium operator that has got a football game in progress and they just need to buy high capacity secured access for two hours, the length of a football match, um, you know, from a telecoms operator, you know, that's a true cloud service and a value add for the operator because it's not just communication services it's rapidly turning up those communication services but also securing them through additional network functions that provide those security services and chain that entire service together dynamically that's what we show as part of the demo so we have um, you know simulated mobile access into this edge data center and our orchestration so starting the demo then what we do is we go into our orchestration solution and we select a new service type. So there's no service running at the moment. We, we set up a secured slice for the mobile network. Um, that then is um, turned up and we'll see then very briefly on here then that we've got a firewall that's been configured as well as the mobile access to that firewall. So orchestration talks to a worker node um, which is running uh, Red Hat OpenShift. Um, and so we set up the networking then from the edge gateway into uh, through Celium, which is the, um, the container networking interface. Um, and we translate GTP traffic coming in from the mobile core to SRV6 and then IPv4. So you can see the GTP traffic or the mobile access traffic coming in to the data center that's then translated by Arcus networking software embedded in an HP server to what's called, you know, to SRV6. So it has its own segment IDs added to it. So we can program now that traffic and forward it to uh, the Fortinet firewall. It's broken out then as IPv4 end user traffic. It's secured through Fortinet. So we see this is the Fortinet analyzer for that traffic coming in. Um, and now say we want to add not just uh, mobile access, but also fixed access from that same operator. So we select that we're going to run both service offerings, you know, fixed and mobile access. So we see we've added fixed access here as well. Um, so that'll then get spun up on a separate data center um, that happens to have IP MPLS traffic linking the data centers together. So we have fixed access now. We create a simulated SLV6 domain overlay across that IP MPLS traffic. We set up the VPN access from that gateway then uh, between the data centers. So now the traffic is going to flow from fixed access 
to uh, this edge data center we've broken out on the application server and we now have two sets of traffic coming up then in the 40 analyzer so it's completely secured um, access on both sides. Now as the telecoms operator then evolves their networks to SRV6 end to end, all of a sudden that adds fully programmatical um, access for their entire edge cloud. So the idea with that then is that you can, for example, have operational technology devices, so things like point of sale terminals, et cetera, within the stadium, um, but you could also have a set of sta um, spectators that want to access a media server. So some devices would want to talk to an application server for operational technology. Some other um, traffic is going to be from the spectators want to access a media server. Obviously, those are very different traffic types, but you can program the network then end to end through a technology set called Flex Algo or flexible algorithms to say that my spectator traffic is going to be given uh, a network slice with minimal delay because I've got a, you know, it's delay sensitive traffic because it's video versus a network slice with reliable delivery for the OT devices and the traffic would then be steered across the network dynamically uh, using segment routing. And that's the, so, so the, you know, in summary, the, um, the demonstration and the value that we have for this is leave the existing telco networks in place, the, you know, those massively heterogeneous environments, overlay a telco cloud on top of that through embedding technology in the data center. You know, that's essentially the greenfield part of the, um, of the network and then separate your you know, per domain um, configurations that already exist in the telco, separate that out from how you actually create services that are fully virtualized. So you have almost hyperscale like telco cloud that you can massively scale across uh, edge data center locations. And this is the kind of flexibility that telcos, especially small telcos, have been looking for to make that transition to a virtual network. Yeah, that's exactly right. So obviously the majority of telcos are moving to virtualized network functions today. They, you know, they're putting um, you know, industry standard servers in their compute rooms, you know, their central offices. You know, that's all been going on for years, but it's not a telco cloud. You need additional technology sets on top of that. You need the orchestration, but crucially as well, you need the ability to be able to set up those user plane paths dynamically end to end so that you can create those services. And that's what we bring as part of this uh, HP GreenLake for Telco Cloud Automation solution. Excellent. Martin, thank you so much for the demo. Thank you.